couple weeks, months, I've been in the water a lot, like a lot. And my hair has been suffering. Like I've been washing and washing and washing. I haven't really done anything major other than that. I haven't like retwisted my hair because I've known that I'm gonna get right back in the water and all that good stuff. So I decided that today I wanna do a complete like refresh for my locks. I wanna just give it a boost. I wanna give my hair a boost. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash it, give it a really, 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 really good deep shampoo, a really good deep conditioner. Um, I actually, before I even do that, I think I'm going to do this apple cider vinegar thing. I don't have the little bin to like soak my hair in, but I'm going to make some work. I might just like spray it in my hair, so I'm going to do a little light version of it. I don't know. But I'm gonna do that and yeah, deep shampoo, deep condition, and I'm gonna do a lot of maintenance. I started uh, I started to do a little maintenance right before I started recording, um, just kind of separating. But um, I stopped myself and I was like, why am I doing this and not recording this? So let me just vlog it and that's what we doing. So I'm going to save the maintenance for after I wash my hair because I think it'll be easier. And I feel like if I do all this parting now, and then wash my hair with everything that I'm about to do, like, you know, counterproductive. So we're gonna do it in that order. ACV, shampoo, conditioner, parting, retwist. And I'm gonna do a palm roll just because I don't really know how to interlock, even though I do really appreciate, and I did like the interlocking that Ty did for me in my previous uh, lock video. I don't know how to interlock like that. Um, I watched a couple videos and I still don't feel super comfortable. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and palm roll it, make it easy for myself. And yeah, we're going to get it done. And it's going to look really sleek when I'm done with it. And I can't wait to be done with it. I'm going to take my time. So it is going to probably take me maybe like three or four hours to finish this up. Um, yeah, maybe five. I don't know. It doesn't matter because I'm taking my time, so yeah. All right, so first step is that ACV thing. I'm gonna see if I can make this work. Um, I don't have an idea. I have no idea how I wanna do it. <sighs> Cause I'm not gonna be bending over and letting up the soap like that. Like I, I don't have the patience for that. I think I'm gonna spray it. So I have this, I have this spray bottle and I think I'm gonna fill it with um, apple cider vinegar and like spray it like a lot. I think I'm gonna do that. That's what I'm gonna do. So be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. So let me tell you what I just did. It probably took around two hours and I didn't record it because it was just too much work trying to record in the shower, but this is what I did. So. I had the apple cider vinegar in my hair. Um, I rinsed that out. It took a minute to get that smell out. But um, after I got it out, I did a pre-poo, a little, just for my roots, just to make sure that smell is out, like for sure. And then rinsed that out. Did a formal shampoo on my hair and a deep conditioner. Yeah, it took about an hour or two, maybe closer to two hours, honestly. And it looks like the few parts that I was able to do kind of kind of stuck a little bit. So what I'm about to do now is really get down into the parting. Like, yeah, I'm going to be parting while I'm retwisting. And yeah, I'm going to take my time. So it's going to take me a while to do this. But yeah, I got time, right? Yeah, I got time. I usually like to start in the back. So I'm gonna do that, put all this back. Firstly, I'd like to apologize. I'm a little under the weather right now, so I might sound a bit congested, <clears throat> but the show must go on. So, all right, I'm admittedly not the most gentle when it comes to parting. 
But hey, it got the job done today. I honestly say it's up to your discretion if you do it at all. You know, some people are big on that, but I only care about it maybe once or twice a year. So yeah, y'all already know what style I'm putting in my head. The only one I know how to do a quick little two strand twist up, rope up, doop, doop, doop. If your locks are a few different lengths like mine, I do recommend using the longer lock that you have when you're twisting out of the two. Um, use that longer lock once you get to the end of that twist and take that baby back on up, secure it with a rubber band, and boom, you're good to go and you are done with that one. When it comes to doing the back of my head, it is really hard for me to like kind of see what I'm doing as far as parting is concerned. So I have a couple of mirrors in here in my bathroom that I'm working with that I'm like trying to look through and you know so I'm looking through and I'm making sure that I'm doing the parts correctly in the back so that they won't look all messed up in the back and all uniform in the front and all these toys probably took me about 20 minutes to complete my locks are kind of thick now, so I like my twist a little tight so the curls will pop after that takedown. You know what I'm saying? I like to keep them in for about a month, maybe a month and a half. They really do last a long time depending on your lifestyle and your level of activity, you know, sweating, things like that. But I say the longer you keep them in, the better. Um, it just kind of solidifies that curl. And once you get them twist out and once you do the takedown, it's like, bro. Boom, boom, boom. But for now, these twists are going to do the trick. And it's like two styles in one. That's why I like it so much. All right, so I might be down to my last row, y'all. This might be my last little row here. Look at these edges. Let's get into the scalp. Like, I don't have the most symmetrical locks in the world. Not everybody has symmetrical locks. I know that when I started my locks, I probably did have more symmetrical locks, but um, through the years, just retwisting on my own, not being able to see the back for the most part up until recently, as well as combining on my own and things like that. Everything is not as symmetrical as some locks are, and I just want to put out into the atmosphere that that is okay. Your locks don't have to be it don't have to be like like that it can be as natural as you want it to be like it can be like your your lock journey is your lock journey so with that being said all right now let's finish the rest yeah this style didn't take any time at all it never does. That's why it's my go-to. People keep telling me, try different things, do some variety. I just have to make some time to learn new styles. But until then, this is more than enough for me. Like, this is me. Okay, so I am finally done. A lot of nipping, a lot of tucking, a lot of rolling, retwisting, whatever. But this is the finished product. My hair feels a lot lighter now. It definitely feels like more just uniform. Like I can control it a little bit better. I don't see any flyaways. Like usually when I retwist my hair, I'm not paying attention to like the extra hair that's growing. Because you know, like I said, I did my own combination for my locks. So without using a mirror or anything like that. So I missed a lot of little spaces, a lot of little hairs, whatever. And I was able today to tackle all of that. So uh, usually with a retwist recently, I still see like patches of just like hair that I didn't feel, didn't feel for, didn't look for, anything like that. And it would just be there with a fresh, fresh retwist just patches of hair that like I didn't feel that I didn't put into the lock because I'm not like you know I'm just not like able to look back here as much as I'd like but I was able to do it with these mirrors I was really able to like grasp everything with these mirrors so I'm so grateful like so grateful but to y'all know this is my go-to style I don't know how to do anything else so yeah 
um i'll probably keep this in for a minute i actually want to see how it does like if i was to go to the beach or the pool anything like that see how it holds up because i did retwist these or do the two strands like pretty tight because i want them to stick for a minute and i want the curls to be very defined and tight as well so i did as tight as i could for these twists so i'm hoping that they like stick and the curls after a little while when i do take them down i'll show you guys i'll do another video hopefully it'll be like super curly and bouncy um but yeah finished product but i hope you guys enjoyed this video ew 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 i will see you